Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn Paygate integration in Laravel. Paygate uh, is one of the most popular payment gateways in South Africa. And I've recently got a chance to work on this payment gateway in one of my projects. And so I thought that I should create a video for others to learn how they can integrate uh, this payment gateway in their project. Before we begin, uh, I'd like to tell you that whatever source code that you're going to see on my screen during this video, I'll post it on my GitHub repository and we'll share the link in the description below. So you don't have to worry about uh, um, anything if you don't understand it. If I'm going too fast, you can always refer to my GitHub repository and check the code there. Now, uh, payment uh, gateway, this pay gate payment gateway uh, is divided into four simple steps. First is initiate, second is redirect, third is notify, and the fourth is response. So, in the first step, we will initiate uh, our request. In the second step, we will redirect the user to the bank page. In the third step, Paygate will send us back the notification to notify if the payment was successful or not. And the fourth step is it will redirect the user to the response space that you would create. All right, let's look at all of these steps one by one. This is the first step. I'm preparing the data to send to Paygate. This first step will basically authenticate the request. In response, Paygate will send us the pay request ID that you can see. It is also important to understand that the order of this uh, array should be the same as I have mentioned here, as I have shown here. I actually faced uh, an error related to the order so I thought it's important and I should tell uh, my viewers that they should follow the same order. This is the uh, way uh, Laravel 8 uh, sends a request to any external URL. Uh, it's nothing but just a curl request. Uh, if you are implementing it in Laravel 7 or maybe the earlier version of Laravel, then you would probably want to use uh, the Guzzle HTTP library in the latest Laravel, which is uh, Laravel 8 that I'm using for this tutorial. They have introduced this new library to, to send requests, to send curl requests to another server. And then I'm storing this uh, response that I've received from Paygate in my table here. And then opening this form. Let's look at the form. This is a very simple form uh, with two hidden fields. One is pay request ID that was received by uh, received from pay, Paygate. This is the checksum value. Again, this was received from Paygate. And we are submitting this value to this URL. And the submission automatically initiates the step number two, which is the redirect. So when we submit this request, Paygate will redirect the user to the bank page. If everything was verified by them, they will redirect the user to the bank page where the user can process their payment, complete it, and then Paygate will do two things here. First, it will send a notification to the URL that we had mentioned here. And then it will redirect the user to this return URL. Let's look at the notify URL first and then we'll check the return URL. In the, in the notify uh, function, okay, one, one thing uh, I would like to tell you here is that this notify function should be a post uh, post type of request. And the same is with this response function. Both of these URLs should be a post type of uh, 
uh, functions and since it is coming from an external source I have uh, added them in my exception list that these URLs should not be verified for the CSRF uh, token checks it is important to note I'm fetching the transaction and then I'm querying the paygate server uh, just to verify that this request uh, was successful and that uh, the notification that I've received is legitimate because it is a post request and a public URL anyone can call this URL to send a fake request also so we need to deal with that it could be uh, a spamming attempt it could be a hacking attempt as well so I'm just verifying this by querying paygate server with the information that was received uh, in, in, in the request and if the transaction uh, status is 1 which means the payment was successful I am uh, entering all the data in my table along with the status as successful and then if not then I am marking it as the failed uh, uh, transaction as I mentioned earlier this is also a post request uh, I am in, again inquiring the transaction table if the transaction was uh, not found then I am returning an error if not then I am showing the payment response the payment response is nothing but just a simple page uh, where I am showing the transaction status now let us see how it actually works in the browser so I have this uh, form, uh, the hidden form, you can see no uh, input fields are visible here. So I'll refresh this space. I'll make the payment button. I'll enter my name. I'll go to the official documentation, find the test card, I'll paste here, I'll choose the date enter the CVV, click next It looks like we have not received the notification. Let me refresh it again. Okay, the payment was successful. Let us uh, look at the server logs as well, just to be sure. I'll clean up this screen. Okay. Now let us reinitiate the process, and this time we will check the logs for the notification. Do the same thing again here. I'll submit and now go to the terminal upon receiving the notification you should see in the notification values uh, on this screen okay as you can see I've received this notification in which the transaction ID is this one and the transaction status is one here I hope uh, uh, I was uh, able to explain you uh, how this pay gate payment gateway works and uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, I'm going to give the pay github repository link in the description uh, below so please please feel free to uh, check the code and if you have any queries you can always respond uh, in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer all your queries 
that was it for today and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and click the uh, bell icon to stay notified of all the updated videos that i upload thank you so much have a great day bye